question eight. <clears throat> now this is fairly time consuming I think for the marks but it's pretty straightforward. So using gradients prove that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Now if it's a parallelogram you need to show that the gradient of A, B is the same as D, C and AD is the same as BC because uh, if you've got two pairs of parallel sides that's what a parallelogram is. So basically you've got to work out these four gradients. So remember gradient is just Y step over X step. So the gradient from A to B so we just go from here to here so I've done 4 minus minus 1 and 0 minus minus 5 gives us 5 over 5 which is 1 and so on. So I've worked through the four gradients. I've shown that um, a, B and C, D have the same gradient. I've shown that B, C and A, D have the same gradient. Two pairs of parallel sides, therefore a parallelogram. Now, part two again, they tell us what to do using lengths of so lines. So we're going to do um, four lots of Pythagoras to show that each of these four lines are the same length. Because a parallelogram, which has got equal sides, is a rhombus. That's what a rhombus is. So four lots of Pythagoras. Um, I haven't bothered square rooting, I've just left it as the side squared. So AB squared is 50, BC squared is 50, and so on. If you'd wanted to say AB is root 50, BC is root 50, and so on, that's fine. But basically you need to show that all have the same lengths, therefore it's a rhombus. You prove that it's a rhombus. Right, prove that ABCD is not a square. Well, it's square would mean that we have a 90 degree angle in the corners. In other words, we would be proving that the lines are perpendicular to the, each other. Uh, sorry, the gr yeah, and 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 the great and also the great. Uh, if the lines are perpendicular to each other, then when you multiply the two gradients together, you get minus one. That's the definition of perpendicular lines. When you multiply the gradients together, you get minus one. Well, if we go and say uh, focus on this corner here. The gradient of AB is 1, the gradient of AD is a minus a seventh. When you multiply these together you get minus a seventh. You do not get minus 1, therefore not perpendicular, therefore not a square.